In the latest version of the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress, we have made further improvements to the way text editing works. And I'm gonna give you a quick tour through those right now. You will see these options as soon as text editing becomes active, such as when I click into this text block right here. There are two things I wanna show you. The first is that we have the inline text editing options at the top right here, and they're docked to the top. So if I scroll, they just stay there. And we moved these options here so that they wouldn't hover and be in the way of text. So before they were closer to your cursor position, but sometimes the text options would cover something that you maybe tried to select and they could get in the way. So this way they're always in the same place and they will be less likely to cover up a bit of text that you're trying to edit. The options are still pretty much the same. You have your alignment options, you can do lists here, and you can also click again to undo. So if I turn this into a list with a click, I undo that and turn it into a paragraph again with a second click. We have our link here, and importantly, we have paragraph, which is currently selected, and we have our headings. So if I go here, for example, I can apply a heading from this menu right here. And I can switch that back to a paragraph by clicking on paragraph, switch it to a block quote like this. The second area that's undergone some changes is this block here in the sidebar. So we've made some changes here to make this more compact and to make options more accessible. We still have the same options as before. So if I select some text, for example, here we have the text color. Here we have the highlight color, which is set to nothing by default, but you can highlight text like this. And we still have our options to all cap, title case, or lowercase everything. And as you can see, this applies either to the selected text, if I have something selected as before, or to the whole block, if I just place the cursor inside it. And the next change is that here we have a shared slider and size indicator for font size, line height, and letter spacing. So in most cases, you'll be selecting some text and you'll be changing the font size. So that's the most immediately available option. Line height is another one that sometimes you might wanna change. So that's the second button and it uses the same slider right here. You can change the line height. And then letter spacing is the final one. Again, we use the same slider for all these three options. So as you can see, you can basically change the, the dimensions of how your text is displayed a lot more easily by just switching between these three and using the same slider. And it also helps save some space here, make the sidebar a bit more compact. So that's a look at the changes we made to make text editing faster and more intuitive in Thrive Architect. Let us know what you think of these changes by leaving a comment below.